Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very exciting episode here at Glancet Games and today I proudly present to you Sleeping Dogs. We continue the adventures of Wei Shen. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Hong Kong. Our to-do list is filled with objectives and I would say with no further ado, we start right into what we have to do. Okay, so the first thing on our list today is bringing back the Jade statue that we have found in the last episode. We do not want our sensei to wait any longer and we can also learn something new. Okay, so practice the stun strike follow up on the student. <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. What a kick in the face. That looks and definitely feels gnarly. What do you mean with this zoning me? I did that pretty good. I mean, Sifu, do you see how I'm beating up your students? Okay, so now after taking care of the Jade statue, I think we have somebody else that we have to take care of. And it is Tiffany. The last time we have met her, she promised us a karaoke date. Tiffany, where are you at? Oh, you're here. I've got everything set up. You wanna sing first? Sing a song for Tiffany. All right, we're doing pretty good here. It is quite difficult because my sticks are so sensitive. Ah, my sticks are too sensitive. We gotta impress Tiffany here. There's so much at stake. We have to defend our title as a karaoke master. But we still got great with 90% precision. That is a way better result than I anticipated. And Tiffany is happy. That's all that counts. That is all that matters. You don't want me to sit on your lap and sing for you? Oh, we, we must, must stay focused, focused brothers. Well. But we are men. I'm too weak. I'm too weak to say no. I'm a pro. Are we still talking about the singing part or...? Okay, so our karaoke date has been very successful. We sang a beautiful song, but now we have to progress in the main story. Okay, so... So our main mission got interrupted, I see. I think I fucked up the hijack here. Whoops. What did I do? Where's my car? <laughs> I jumped out of my car and lost it. How can one lost his car in Hong Kong? Oh my god. Yeah, that is a good start into the episode. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Wei Shen, embodied competence with the capital C. Wei, you're coming with me. Looks like you're gonna meet Uncle Po. Ooh, we're climbing the ladder. Getting introduced to the important characters in the video game. Anything, anything happens to me. You look after our people, okay? We are a family. Family has to stick together. Family. I mean, for those who have already played this game, also the way he said it, you know that this is foreshadowing, right? Ah, Winston! Come in. And you, young man, must be way. Winston speaks very highly of you. Winston says you're the one who made sure Siu Wa was not arrested. No, it was Winston's idea. He had to assert himself, but he didn't want to inconvenience you in the process. Did he now? Oh, do you see how quiet Winston became? Uncle Poe, there's really no need. Don't argue with me. We don't argue with Uncle Poe. Rule number one, Uncle Poe is always right. Winston, 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 relax. I know you were provoked. Uh-oh. Yeah, we better leave. I'm sorry, Winston. But you get tired of spinning your wheels in the night market, give me a call. I appreciate the offer. You know, let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Ooh, maybe a new business opportunity with Ricky? Okay, get in the car. What is that, an Audi? An executive. Oh, that thing is fast. The acceleration, the torque, holy shit. I'm getting swamped with the sweating crap. I mean, need your help on a couple of things. I'll stop by the restaurant when you're done there, okay? Okay, so we also have to help Winston with his wedding plans. We are not his best mate, but still, work has to be done. Patsy Wing. Bad luck at Mahjong. Collect what she owes. Find Patsy Wing. And Jesus Christ. Wait. How do I holster my weapon? I do not wander around the city with my submachine gun in my hands. Okay, maybe we just have to get into the car or something. No, he saw it. Damn it. Gotta go fast. Shit, that's a lot of muscle. Ooh, another car chase. I see, I see. Now our fast car is coming in handy. Yeah, yeah, fuck you with your bullets and stuff. I can outdrive your bullets. Yeah, but Patsy seems to be part of the speed force or something. She's basically letting us eat dust here. All right, Patsy, I'm almost there. And don't you dare turn around. Yes, we made it. Oh, I feel so sorry about the executive. Who has drugs in the back? That should cover my debt. I'm sorry. Whoa, what? <laughs> Got a 
car loaded with dope. All right, bring it back here as soon as you can. So now we are sitting in a car loaded with dope. Interesting enough, she said, don't hurt me. And she jumped out of the car in full driving. I mean, we were pretty fast, right? Shen. We need to meet right away. Hopefully it is Raymond this time and not Pendrew in disguise. Ah, there he is. Oh, hi, Raymond. If it ever came out that the police were involved, we're dead. They won't. Well, you can't know that. Ah, Roland is always so on edge. Chill, dude. There's a nice massage saloon I can recommend. Go ahead and tell Pendrew that I just met the chairman of the Sun on Yi. The chairman? It'll be in my report. And maybe this time you'll actually read it. Boom. Mic drop moment. Raymond defeated. Let's go! Our promotion meant we get a new flat. Finally a nice bed. Guys, let's have a little room tour. I mean, this is what I call an upgrade. Okay, so now that we have accomplished one mission for the triads, I would say we start with one for the police and that is the water street. But in all honesty, now that we are living in a better neighborhood, bigger apartment, got a promotion, I think we need to step up our fashion game here. All right, and there is our new outfit. What do you say, guys? Are we looking fresh? I mean, with the jacket and the sunglasses. Wei Shen, Terminator, at your service. But now that we have taken care of our important necessities, we are continuing with our police work so that Raymond is not going to stay mad at us. And this is exactly how our work is looking like because we have to take part in another street race. I have practiced a bit off cam, so my driving skills should be on par here. Okay, drifting is still on my to-do list, but as long as we are staying on the road, everything is fine. Pole position! And we did it! Closed another lead, increased our reputation and got $20,000. Okay, now I get it why we can afford the rent in the new apartment. I take everything back that I had to say about undercover police work. And you know what? After this victory, I feel so good about myself that I think that I will take care of a little favor. What do you need? A ride! But in a second. Oh, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what, what the, the fuck is happening here? That Help Calvin escape the cops? Girl. That asshole was sleeping with my girlfriend. Thanks, Way. Next time I need to hit a cop, I know who to call. Pull over and drop Calvin off. Yeah, you're a troublemaker and you definitely need to learn your lesson. Okay, that was quite the interesting favor, but nevertheless, we have work to do. We still have our wedding list that we got from Winston. Maybe we are meeting his wife-to-be for the first time. Let's see. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. Drive Peggy to the bridal shop. Yeah, you may never have thought about this, but this is also a part of Sleeping Dogs. Being the assistant of a bride. Yeah, but driving her around should be no problem. So, let's get it. Peggy's mood is still up, so we are doing quite a good job. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. There are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the garden temple. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. I'll be there, Peggy. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. He's in charge of the cake. Peggy, did you see how your man is welding around his butcher knife and you are trusting him with a cake with delicate pastry? Oh, careful. I was looking at the time remaining and I didn't pay attention on the traffic. Sorry, Peggy. Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? I bet this is some one of the rival gang who is Wait, stealing our down. cake. There's just one speed, Peggy. My speed. Wait, what are you doing? I'm trying to save your cake and save your marriage. But we do not have to hijack this car, right? I mean, Peggy is sitting here with us. Oh, careful! I'll follow you! Recover. Recover. Oh my god! What an action piece! Ah! Let's go! No, this is my cake. Peggy, I got your cake because you have none. <laughs> I've seen you trying on this dress and there was no cake visible. None. Winston is marrying a cakeless woman. <laughs> All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. All right, so you heard the lady? On to the temple. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, thanks, thanks for noticing that. Imagine if there was an option to get closer with Winston's fiance. We would have an entire quartet of women, an entire squad at hand. Peng, Amanda, Tiffany and her. Jesus Christ, our timetable would explode. Luckily, there is a possibility to climb up on the construction site. Perfectly disguised like Agent 47. Fast talk past the monks to pick up the orchid. You don't belong here. Uh, 
What is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I mean that that shit works. Crazy. There's our orchid. You stop right now. I have to fight monks? All right. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, they know how to fight. They're teleporting. Peggy, start the motor. We gotta go. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. This wedding thing stresses me out. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. I mean, I didn't see the name of the clothing before, but I was about to say, we look like a knockoff Winston there. Winston from Timu. And those poor students, I hope you are getting paid in some way. Or maybe Sifu is taking care of your college loans or something. All right, so after this intense training session, I feel a little bit tense, you know? Plenty of options that we could take. Maybe go for a swim or for a walk or something. Maybe there are other possibilities. I'm not sure if I should take those, but... Aha, uh -huh, yes, my queen. Do you like my chain? Tell your friends that. If they nice like you, maybe I do a two for one special one. Huh? Winston, perfect gift for your bachelor party. Winston, we are going to get a double Texas twist with both hands. Yeah, yeah. All right, so after we have relieved some stress and found our balance again, I think we can take care of impressing not ping. That was another mission on our to-do list for today. And luckily, we are cruising around the city with a very fast car. We should be there in no time. There you are. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I thought I'd see if I could talk you into teaching me a few things. Okay, let's go. Distract the cob. Oh, okay, and which kind of shady things did I get involved in? I saw what looked like a drug deal a couple minutes ago. Over there. Thanks for the tip, sir. I'll check it out. When I feel restless, I come out here and hotwire a camera. Let me show you how the pros do it. <clears throat> Easy as that. Are you impressed because I got up here all by myself? Next time I do it with no hands. I think that policeman's... There we have it. Maybe I can find a way to bribe you later. Oh. I didn't know you were so into tech stuff. Yeah, I'm, you know, into all sorts of crazy shit. I bet. <laughs> oh, they're so cute yeah, together. <laughs> and I'm sitting here all by myself. <laughs> and we did it. Impress, not ping. But the moment we've all been waiting for is the wedding. So let's try to get a car as fast as possible and get to the location. Drive to the banquet hall. But look at our suit. All white like Mr. Negative from Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, you're definitely going to turn a lot of heads around. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Almost as lovely as your mother <laughs> Oh, uncle is still hidden. Shit! Oh no, Winston, I'm coming. I'm running as fast as I can. It is a madhouse in here. Whoa, backhand? All right, I remember your face, bro. There you go. Nobody's messing with my family. Okay, that's it. First wave done and dusted. Oh my god, double kill! Now you're done for good. Oh, innocent kills. I'm sorry. Oh no, I killed somebody off the wedding staff. Get Peggy out of here. She doesn't deserve this. What's the... Fuck. Oh, you bastards. You're going to pay for what you have done. All right, an assault rifle. That is good. Enough ammunition for all of you. But somebody is still alive. In the kitchen. I shot your shoulder, I know, but you're alive. Get into safety. What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here. Bring Uncle Poe through the park it's to the hospital. Oh no, an escort mission? Oh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, Uncle Poe, stay with me. Fast, Uncle Poe, fast. Left and right, left and right. All right, Uncle Poe, we are almost there. Hold on tight. Our boys are protecting us. Very good. We need a doctor, now! What is this? If anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you personally police? responsible. Oh, thank God. I'll be clear. Okay, okay. We have completed our mission. I would never say that this was a successful mission. Meet at the rendezvous point. And we cannot even get a minute to grief. We have to keep working. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. That's what worries me, Way. We done? Yeah, we're done. All right, and there we are. Back at it. After a restless night, what a massacre this has been. It was the Red Wedding all over again. After going through hell, everything 
seems to be meaningless now without Winston. And Peggy? I'm not even sure if she will ever be healthy again. Maybe I should enjoy life a bit more. What would Winston want? He wanted us to enjoy life and take responsibility for our own happiness, right? I could use a little stress relief. This is going to be fun for both of us. I'll be here tomorrow waiting just for you. Alright, I feel much better now. Yeah, the warmth of the woman can do wonders here. And I saw we have a drug bus that we can take part in. So let's do that. And it is pretty close. No drugs in my neighborhood. I'm not in the best condition to be fucked with. Why is he wearing a motorcycle helmet? This won't help you at all. What is your helmet helping now? And now he's wearing one too? What the fuck is happening here? I feel like an equilibrium. Alright, yeah, you better run. And last but not least, go at home and use the surveillance system. Oh, and I think this is the guy with the drugs. Ah, there's our dealer. And onto the floor with him. Busted. And that gave us a lot of money. $10,000? Oh, just for one drug bust? Do you need help? Is everything okay? But I would say, guys, we make a cut for today. We have been through a lot. So if you're still here with me, then you are a real one. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also ring the bell to never miss out on future content here at Glancet Games. And as always, stay safe, play fair, and keep gaming. This is Glancet Games. Over and out.